Hello, and welcome to this video on phylogenetic tree construction as made for MIMG 109BL at UCLA. In this third video, we will complete the construction of a preliminary phylogenetic tree. By the end of this video, the student will construct a neighbor joining phylogenetic tree using MEGA software. The student should be able to evaluate the construction of a phylogenetic tree for its reliability as well as understand how to improve the statistical support for a phylogenetic tree. At this point in the workflow to construct a phylogenetic tree, you have received your Sanger sequencing outputs, trimmed off the end sequences with low quality reads, and you've performed a database search for related sequences. The last step before the construction of the neighbor joining phylogenetic tree is performing a multiple sequence alignment. To start, navigate to and open the last successful alignment session you've done in MEGA. Go to Data, Save Session, and save this file with the proper name as an MAS file. Now navigate to the main Omega window, click on Phylogeny, and construct Neighbor Joining Tree. In order to select the alignment session you just saved, you have to specify all files in the file type. Once you've selected your alignment session, a new window will appear asking for your analysis preferences. Pay attention to the test of Phylogeny, which should be set to the bootstrap method, as well as the number of replications, which should be set to 2,000, but for your preliminary trees, 500 will save you some time. At this point, MEGA will be using the bootstrapping method to calculate a measure of how often a bifurcating event occurs at each node of the tree among all of its replicates. The output is a phylogenetic tree, where you can measure the evolutionary relatedness among sequences using this key. The bootstrap consensus tree is a helpful view to examine the clades within the phylogenetic tree more closely. Pay attention not only to the bootstrapping values, but also the relationships among each taxon. Ideally, an unknown query sequence will be included into a defined clade with strong statistical support. Notice how these query sequences do not make any strong relationships with any of the defined sequences on this tree. This means We've got some work to do. Now that you've output a preliminary phylogenetic tree, ask yourself these questions. Does the phylogenetic tree reflect the observations made from the blast search or the RDP classifier tool? Are the bootstrapping values sufficient to support the hypothesized relationships among your samples? Also, are all of the clades in the tree clearly defined at the genus level? How about any other taxonomic levels? Now you can evaluate the biological relevance and statistical support of your tree. Then, repeat the process starting from their database search in order to improve the quality of your tree. Thank you.